Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm doing another video and this is how to turn the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition <gasps> into a Nexus. So, uh, this is actually something really interesting because the main complaint about this tablet really has been TouchWiz. A lot of people didn't always like TouchWiz on this device. So, this is a really amazing solution. If you want to, you can actually now uh, make this a Nexus device. And you have all the goodies of a Nexus built in to the device. Now, how do you do this? Well, go to this website, uh, which I will have a link for down below. Uh, again, this is uh, courtesy of Droid Life. They are the ones who provided this. Um, so. Once you uh, go to this website, you're going to download a couple of apps. Now, which apps you want to download? Well, as many as you would like to make it the real Nexus-like experience. I even downloaded the wallpaper on mine, the home. Now, the two you do not download is Hangouts and Google Search. These have been updated through the Google Play Store, so now they are uh, the latest versions and a lot more stable than these two were because those weren't stable. However, once you have all of those, now you can actually install all of them. And once you have this one, you're going to have a launcher button. You're going to tap the launcher button and you will have a Nexus device. Now, the real nice thing about this, besides how fast and speedy it is, the fact that you can say, OK, Google, and immediately ask any question built in on it. You do have all of Google's ecosystem that you would <laughs> you would have on a Nexus device, but you also, of course, still have the ability to have the TouchWiz stuff. Now, if you don't want any of these, of course, with any of these apps, you can actually just uh, clear them from the data and turn them off. So if you have any app, say like, um, let's say like Watch On, you can go to app info and then force close, clear data, clear cache, and uninstall updates. Some apps will allow you uh, to even turn them off depending on the app itself. So this is just a really nice feature to be able to do and basically get rid of most of the TouchWiz without rooting. Now this is a really nice feature because you don't need to be so tech savvy in order to do this. Um, the great part about it is that you still have two features that I think most people will agree are really nice with Samsung tablets. First being the pen. You still have the pen feature that works with everything on the device. The second thing is my favorite thing by far about the Samsung tablets, which is you still have split screen. So you can still use two apps simultaneously at the same time, which is of course really nice. I can have my files and I can still use uh, my Chrome browser. So this is a really nice feature that allows you to be able to have split screen and now you have this on a Nexus device, which is again, just the best of both worlds. I really like this, it's really been smooth and I'm thinking about switching over to this entirely. Um, so I'm really kind of interested to see what you guys think and hopefully you guys do like this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section down below and definitely give a like thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.